Hello YouTube, this is Bowtie Media, and today we've got another installment of This Week in EDM, where we go over songs that came out this week in EDM. Before we get started, there is a playlist below for all the songs on Spotify, if you want to see those organized by week and by my preference of song within the week, if you sort by recently added. Uh, but before we get into it, we also have 27 songs this week, the most amount I think we've ever had in This Week in EDM, so let's get it started with the trash category songs I think are absolute trash. We've got The Whistle by Steve Aoki, Timmy Trumpet, and DJ Alligator. Uh, one of those tracks that uh, when you, you just laugh at uh, hearing for the first time, uh, it's a happy hardcore with a literal whistle drop in the first drop. It, it's just a whistle. It is, I don't get it. Uh, it's short and bad and doesn't need to exist. Up next, we've got Replay by Slander and Dylan Matthew. Uh, Dylan Matthew has uh, been missing hard for me as of late with his vocals and his performances. Uh, and that, mixed with the fall of creativity I think Slander's had personally for me over the last couple years, um, makes this for probably one of the worst songs I've heard from both of them. Uh, honestly, this is its so lifeless and devoid of any emotion. It feels like a parody song of Slander and Dylan Matthew both. So, I, uh, yeah, really, really did not like this one. So, uh, and that's it for Trash. We're moving into the bad category now. Songs I think are just... I'd probably just say her bad. Uh, Everything You Want by Tasca Black. Uh, we've got the Expectations EP. Uh, this song in particular, uh, really bad mixing and processing on the vocals. So almost so that I can barely hear what the vocals are saying at all. Uh, and uh, that said, it, there's this strange cadence as well with the way that it's said and spoken and sung. And it's just weird. The song ends abruptly after the two minute mark as well. So I don't know. The song in the EP was, was not for me. Then we've got the world's uh, the world's version of Moment by Athena Smile and Isaac App. Uh, the remix of the original song came out actually fairly recently, uh, which is the remix for the Rocket League World Championships, which cites the world versions. Uh, there is a uh, Isaac App rap on top, which is uh, fairly basic, not too bad. But um, Athena's vocals I didn't love from the original, and I think they're even worse on this. The processing is, is done even more poorly, and the, here. No, it just feels so like phoned in. I I don't know. It's and yeah, and the trap drop is is bad too. So I don't know. And then we got Mercy by Jaws and Masked Wolf. Um, kind of sounds like uh, this would be made by a young producer who wanted to make something a little edgy. Uh, but instead, it's Jaws, who's a mainstay in EDM, and Masked Wolf, who went viral on TikTok. So uh, it's it's just an odd song, in my opinion. Uh, and there's just really really nothing to hold on to on this one for me personally. wasn't wasn't a huge fan. We've got Here and Now by Yoltron and Jacob Lu Ying. I want to say, uh, early 2000s pop rock vocalist here, uh, and I don't really particularly relate with that style, so take this with a grain of salt. Um, maybe if, didn't have, if I didn't have such a distaste for that style of vocal, um, maybe I would appreciate it a little bit more, even like a non-vocal version, but even that, the kind of basic trance production on the back end is, um, yeah, it's just not great. Vocals kind of ruin this for me, and I just think regularly, without the vocals, the song would just be very, very meh. So we've got Make Me Believe by Diplo and Melee. Uh, the Diplo Deluxe LP is out now, the reissue with uh, almost disco style track. Um, the mixing is horrible on this, honestly. Uh, and it's just another just odd song. It doesn't feel right. It just feels like something's missing and or there that shouldn't be there. It's just, it's just weird. It makes me feel, I don't know how to describe it. It's just, ugh. Uh, then we got Way Back by uh, Aviella, I want to say, and Conroe. Uh, my least favorite Conroe song of all time. Uh, wow. Um, I am not a fan of her vocal, her singing on this. I don't, uh, that just may be personal preference here. But I really do not like the vocals. It's a little, like, whiny, and it sounds very, like, young, I want to say. It just didn't work for me. Uh, and the most basic house beat that Conroe has, I think, ever produced, um, especially on Monster Cat, it just... Yeah, I don't know. It all worked out and all worked together to be something that I didn't actually enjoy. So as we move into the meh category songs, I think are uh, just meh. We've got Aurora by Blank uh, with the Aeon 2, sort of. I think this is the end of that. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, we've got a uh, pretty basic drum and bass track here uh, with honestly not much more I can say about it. It's kind of just a basic drum and bass song. So up next, we've got Brooklyn Friday Love by The Midnight. Uh, not a very EDM track for the This Week in EDM, uh, but a lot more of a synth pop style track, uh, something that you would definitely hear on the radio. Uh, honestly, not a huge fan of this, but I can understand why people would really appreciate it, which is why it's here just in the meh category. And uh, I did like the saxophone to conclude the track, though. So that was, that was a nice little touch. 
So we've got Energy by Bishu up next. Uh, personally, never been a fan of Bishu's vocals uh, and the editing that he does to them. And this track is very vocal heavy and focused. And so that was just already already like a, a turnoff for me for the track. Um, but it's a quick one. It's got his classic kind of bright, plucky synth to it. And so if you like Bishu and you like his vocals, then I think you'll like this. But that's why it's just in meh. Up next, we've got Obsessed by Calvin Harris, Charlie Puth, and Sencia or Shensia. Uh, Funk Wave Bounce Volume 2 is out from Calvin Harris with a star-studded pop EDM fusion album. Uh, enjoyed most of the singles up until the release, but this track in particular was a little more boring, uh, offering very little in terms of variety compared to the rest of the LP and even kind of this pop EDM commercial music in general. Uh, bland vocals from both vocalists here, which is kind of upsetting because they're kind of bigger names, especially Charlie Puth. Uh, that being said, it's not, it's not too bad, so that's why it's just here. Then we've got Heaven by Delta Heavy and Jem Coke. Uh, appears to be a new single from an upcoming album, I believe. Uh, the DNB reminds me a lot more of the Delta Heavy early days. Um, but uh, yeah, when they first started or when they first started getting big, uh, it's not too intense of a track, but I think suffers a bit too much from being a little bit too repetitive, I would say. As we've got Bark Forest by <laughs> Lil Hank. Uh, the dog is back with his first official release in two years uh, with an atmospheric trap banger here. Uh, not the craziest track I've heard, but uh, I mean, it's a dog, so you got to give him some credit for that. Up next, we've got Grave Bloom by Must Die. Very, very unique dubstep track that embraces more of the actual dubstep sound rather than something that's bro step or rhythm, I think, the actual classical dubstep sound. Um, yeah, particularly the back end of the track, too, with that very, very distinct sound. There, uh, there really only is one drop. The second drop is kind of, I don't know, pushed down, minimalistic, old school. It's it's just, yeah, it's just atmospheric dubstep. And I honestly don't know how to describe it. You just need to listen to it. It's it's just unique. Unique is the best way to put it. So, Up next, uh, shockingly this high, Hot In It, Tiesto's Hotter Remix by originally by Tiesto and Charlie XCX. Uh, really embracing the hotness on this track with this one. Uh, embracing a darker atmosphere for the remix in particular. Uh, less commercial approach, which I personally really enjoyed. Uh, the original was pretty bad, but this is a fun club banger. Honestly, I'm I'm shocked how well I how much I actually enjoyed this one. Up next, we've got Brain Stab by Autumn Hate uh, or Automate. Uh, so it's uh, it, it's rhythm. So uh, if you know me, I, I don't love rhythm a ton, uh, but uh, I I I didn't I didn't mind this one actually. I think if you are a huge rhythm head, I think you'll really enjoy this. Um, it's not as generic as other rhythm is. I think right now in the industry, uh, it was a, another fascinating sound of sounds on that drop. It's just a little all over the place in a good way and not for me, but also kind of cool. Another one that you just, you, you gotta go listen to. As we enter the good category now, songs I think are just good. Uh, we've got All I Need by Jason Ross and Grant featuring your friend Polly. Uh, just getting it narrowly on good. I thought it was just teetering between meh and good. Uh, the new Atlas album is out from Jason Ross. Uh, this is pretty much just a basic mellow dub track uh, with a fun Grant flair on top of it with the, on top of it with the uh, glitchy kind of area in the drop and then synths throughout. It just sounds like a little bit of Grant on just mellow dub. That's it. Uh, next we've got Twilight by Where Is Alex. Uh, a breezy trip hop track that is sweet, succinct, to the point, doesn't stay too long. That's it. All I want to say. Up next we've got Trials by Nightmare featuring IDK. I'm a sucker for trap and rap and uh, so this one I really enjoyed. Uh, IDK's flow is fantastic and I think Nightmare when they were not making commercial music uh, does a fantastic job with their beats or with his beats and so um, this was uh, this was one that stuck really well for me. Up next we've got Let Me Love You by Bauer. I haven't listened to all of Bauer's discography uh, but I think it tends to be for the most part very dark and this mysterious kind of trap sound uh, but this is not that at all. This is happy and nostalgic that teeters the line between house and new disco. It is it's a breath of fresh air, I think, for the Bauer uh, alias, and uh, I would I would highly suggest listening to this one. As we've got My Heart Has Teeth up next by Dead Mouse featuring Skylar Grey uh, from the uh, soundtrack for the Resident Evil show on Netflix. Um, it's very mi minimalistic, dark house, uh, pretty much a classic Dead Mouse song that you would think of. Um, vocals are a nice touch, but nothing crazy. Skylar's performance here is really, uh, really pulled back and really kind of dumbed down, I would say, but that adds to the aesthetic of the track. So, not too bad. 
And in our top five for the week, we've got Starlight by Rogue. Uh, the same kind of happy-go-lucky style as Guiding Light, uh, but I did enjoy Guiding Light more so than Rogue. This is his first two tracks back in a while. Uh, nice airy synth, as we've kind of been hearing from Rogue as of late, uh, with some uh, solid vocals. So way to go, Rogue. Starlight was a hit for me. Uh, speaking of Monster Cat, we've got Industrial Strain by Coven. The Higher Ground Part 1 EP is out, and this is my favorite from the EP. Uh, normally, I like Katie's vocals to be really clean and not processed a ton, uh, but I really like the distortion added on this. It adds to the atmosphere of the track uh, and is just a solid production or solid production on the dance floor DNB track. Losing my words here, but uh, solid. I, I really enjoyed this one. As we've got our top three, Cannot Hold You by Flux Pavilion and Jamie Liddell. Uh, a nostalgic vocal that kind of just jumps out right away to you. Uh, ripping guitar and reminds me a lot of the old school EDM with its uh, relatively distorted synth sounds that keep and hold its tone for a, again, relatively larger time uh, compared to the rest of kind of EDM nowadays. It's not too long. It's like, but that's not very long, but in, in terms of what we've heard today, it's uh, it, it's it's pretty long. Uh, I, yeah, and that and the heavy kick, it just uh, makes it a very fun, uh, almost breath of fresh nostalgic air, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. To me, it did. Who knows? Uh, and our penultimate track of the week is Elbow Grease by Ray Volp and Sultan. Uh, the Legend of the Volpatron EP is out now, and I am stoked to listen to the rest of it. I really like this. I'm normally not someone that really likes Ray Volp or Sultan, but uh, this just hit me in all the right places and all the right times and all the right areas. And whoo, this, uh, this was a banger and a half for sure. And our top song of the week, almost standout, sadly no standout this week, I just had to put it in good, is Get Through by Fox Stevenson. A very quirky track with a truly unique house drop. I have not said that in a long time. For house, this is unique. This is a interesting new track. It's, it's yeah, for house, I, I can't even believe I'm saying that. Uh, honestly, I really have nothing to compare it to. It is, it is, it is that unique. Um, it's, a uh, it is like kind of squeaky and grooving if I had to compare it. Uh, and overall it was just a really engaging track. So I liked it. And, uh, that is it for this week in EDM. Let me know what you think of these songs in the comment section below. Don't forget to check out the Spotify link to hear all the songs if you have Spotify or just for free. But, uh, yeah, other than that, I'm Motime Media and I'll see you guys in another video.